Hi guys and welcome back to the ant series. So I have lots to cover in today's video because it's been a while since I've done an update. So before we look into this colony, the harvester ant, my new colony, um, where disaster has struck but we'll get into in a moment, we're going to quickly look at the harvester ant colony I have who no longer have a queen. Now they're still going really strong, there's so many workers, they're incredibly active and a little while ago Bertie the beetle who lived in Ziggy's tank died all of a sudden and I don't like to waste anything because let's face it if I buried him he would get broken down by anything anyway. So I fed part of him to my carnivorous plant and I fed the majority of him to my ants. Now I don't know if technically without a brood they really use the protein that much but since there's so many of them I figured let's see, let's see how they react. So uh, here is a bit of a time lapse of how they reacted to Bertie the Beetle. around a lot but they didn't end up really taking him apart or using much of him I think they probably took a few little bits into their nest and that was it about a month or so later I had some feeder insects just delivered to me and as I was unboxing them I found this one cricket had its back legs bitten off and I thought oh that's not gonna survive it was like half like it was dying you could tell so I thought the best thing to do is just pop its head off now the problem with crickets and things like this is they still have nerves and they will still twitch and for me personally I just don't like seeing an animal sort of eaten and torn apart alive so I'll give them like freshly dead food. Sadly the cricket is still moving, I even tried to cut the cricket in half and the nerves are still twitching. So now we're going to look at the other harvester ant colony, this one, this is my new one. Uh, and before I forget there is actually a even newer colony and um, we'll get to that in a moment. So this is my harvest ant queen. You can see her here, she's called Olive. And at one point she was in a different test tube. When I first got her, she was in the ant's kingdom test tube. And I did what everyone said because these ants are easily stressed. I did not touch her, I did not disturb her, everything was going well. 
and at one point she actually had about six workers and I was like this is brilliant this is finally working out for me and then one by one I started to notice them die off and I was like okay this is odd then I had a closer look and the water section of their test tube had completely dried out. Now this has never happened before. Test tubes tend to keep their water for a very long time. And I don't know if it's because suddenly we've had some really hot weather, but obviously it completely gone bone dry and a lot of the workers died. Thankfully the queen was fine. But what I had to do is move her into a new test tube. And I left her connected to the new and the old test tube for a while so they can move everything. And I don't know if it's a stress of moving, but I can't really see a brood anymore. What I can see is two workers and a larva. No eggs, not more than one larva, not larvae, not any pupa, just two workers and a larva. So that's really disappointing. I'm not really sure what happened. Of course, she could have been stressed. She could um, have eaten her eggs. She might just feel stressed that she's not going to lay any eggs for a while. So this is the first time I've held this test tube in a while. I tried to completely leave them alone, but I'm really not sure what to do. With uh, harvester ants, this particular kind as well, they're incredibly sensitive. So things can go wrong really easily and... If it's your first time getting an ant, I wouldn't recommend these. I find them incredibly interesting, but things tend to go wrong very easily. Now I want to introduce you to a somewhat success story, so far anyway. So I was asked near the start of the year that when it comes to the queen ants and that flying around, can I collect one for my boyfriend? And he asked me to raise it in a test tube and, you know, eventually he will have it. So, uh, my garden gets full of Lassius nigers, black garden ants, and I found a queen. Now this one is a lot smaller than a harvester ant queen, obviously I've been sort of accustomed to harvester ant queens now. When I got her she seemed tiny, and for the first week or two she didn't lay any eggs at all, and we're like, have I picked up the one infertile queen? But now, you can see it's absolutely full. There are eggs, there are larvae, there are even cocoons, so the pupa. Now, unlike the harvester ants, um, the Lassius nigers actually have cocoons, so that's cool to see. Now, by the way, this queen is called Liz, after our queen Elizabeth. <laughs> so we have Olive and Liz at the moment, but you may be able to see in there. She sat there with her brood, so she's doing fantastic. And I'm sure if you're in England in particular, you would have seen possibly a month ago or so, just flying ants everywhere, and yeah, she was one of those. So she's doing well, we actually have a success story, and um, I hope to actually continue filming her. Hopefully the harvester ants bounce back, but right for right now, she's doing absolutely fantastic. Now, a lot of people ask me to do more updates on ants. The thing is, I get asked to do updates, but then I also get criticised for filming the ants because people say, well, leave them alone. So you can never really win. For me, this time round, I've been trying to just leave the ants as much as possible. And, you know, obviously it hasn't worked out so much with the half set ants, but it's working out well with her. So I may just limit it down to an update once a month or once every two months, depending on sort of what's happening. Obviously, if there's not much, you don't need an update. But um, for now, Liz is doing really well. I'm really excited about this. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a bit shorter than my usual videos because they've been quite long lately, but I thought I would update you guys. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you and goodbye.